Many times we have the chance to speak with celebrities about their experience of making something out of nothing. Recently we kicked it with Chris Brown to see what he had to say. Check it out. I love y'all, all my fans. Hold on. Chris Brown is now 17, a uh, young dude, top hand in Virginia. Got some three singles out right now, about to put out the new one, say goodbye, and uh, hopefully after that, maybe put out popping for everybody to dance. Um, I started out singing when I was about 11, and from there I took off my music career and just had fun with it. When I first started, I was more like, ah, right, I'm about to get this record deal, I'm about to make these videos, have fun with it. And then... It was, it was like, dang, it's taking a while. Then it was like, it's a lot of hard work. Then I still love it because it's, it's like, it's like it balances out. It's a lot of hard work, but then the, the hard work you put into it is the reward that you get at the end. You don't don't try to be another artist or try to be like, oh, I want to be like him. I want to do stuff like this. I'm like, nah, be your own artist. Cause I know a lot of people compare me to Usher, different people. And, and I say, I mean, I respect that, but I, I want to be my own person. That's why. I try to crump dance. I do a crump dance, and I might like do choreography and dance, but I try to make it kind of far away from Usher. Swoop like under, crack, I break it. So go like that, break my hand down. So normally, if your neck was broke, if you didn't have a, a, a body under here, your hand would roll down this side of you, and then you bring it back. Like just anybody that wants to pursue music or anything y'all want to do, be focused. Know that it's a lot of hard work and love what you do, first of all. What motivates me is seeing seeing kids being inspired to do something positive with their life and, and just and just seeing me just being able to do what I can do and like you that that's all it's about just having fun when you're young because when you get older you got a lot more responsibilities and things and, and unfortunately well fortunately and unfortunately that's that's things that I have to deal with now as a as a young guy. I just wanna I just wanna be that, that kind of that leader for all the um, females as well as definitely the young guys, little kids of the day. I got my designs in my head when I when I did some of my videos and things like that. I see little kids walking around with the designs in their head, so I'm like, oh, alright. So they doing their thing, okay. Now if I can make them do that, then I, then I would like to see what else I can do. If the, if the kids could just like read more, learn about learn about cultures, if they in the game, study up on why they in the game. Study up on how I started, and study up on, on what's the what's the purpose of it, and, and know that it's, it's it used to be for positive reasons and not for negative reasons. Education is important in my life. Um, I'm still in school, although I'm doing music. I have a tooth on the road that I constantly do school. I do school in the morning, so uh, it's, it's always like it's always you know, number one, especially in my household. My mom always was like, you "Better go get that education. You better go to school." Yo, I swore I was about to kiss this girl. Yes. The reason I don't kiss the girl in the video, hmm, I would have to say I wouldn't, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want my girl, the girl fans, to, to really just like be mad, you know what I'm saying? Because the girls, girls are dead hell. I remember we had girl dancers on our tour bus, like, and the girl dancers, like, we all friends, so they'll get off the bus. Oh, that's Chris Brown's girlfriend. I'm about to beat her up. I'm like, wow, don't hurt her. They just the dancers, though. So with that, like, even in my next, my next video, say goodbye. It was supposed to be a kissing scene. I, I did do the kissing thing with the, with the, um, the lead girl, but uh, I did it a little too, uh, not X-rated, but I did it a little little bit too long. So, uh, so I cut you off? No, nah, I didn't. I didn't hit cut, so I kept going. <laughs> and so from there, they was just like, Nah, we can't use that. We ain't making one of them kind of videos. Everybody be shocked, like, oh, and you, I don't know. I don't think you'll lose fans, but they'll be like. So I ain't gonna kiss no girl in the video. And I and I just shot a movie called uh, Steppin', but they might change the name of the movie because there's another movie coming out called Step Up. <laughs> so I, I I got a little acting cameo in there, and I can act, y'all. For all y'all that don't know. He says he can act, cause people gonna be looking. Who is so hot? Not only is he fine, but he hot too. Look. Obviously, the man's got good looks, but he's also focused, humble, he's got goals. <laughs> oh, he's hot. Yeah, and you're groupy. Groupy? <laughs> I'm no groupie. The G and GTV don't stand for groupy team voyeurs. I was just doing my job. And that's why we love you. You get the dirt. I know. Speaking of dirt, stay tuned for our bit on Urban Fun.